Hi and welcome to section 1, Programming AWS Lambda with Java. In this section we are going to take a look at using Eclipse and the AWS Eclipse plugin. Then we will program our first Lambda functions with Java. And last but not least we will build a simple serverless application using Java. Now let's move on to the first video, where we get started with Eclipse and the AWS Eclipse plugin. In this video, we are going to learn how to install the AWS Eclipse plugin, we will try out some of its features, and then we will use the plugin to create our first Java Lambda function. I'm here on the site of the AWS documentation, where you find more information about the AWS Toolkit for Eclipse, which is the open source plugin for the Eclipse IDE. Let's go to the left on getting started and set up the toolkit. Here you find more information uh, that you need an AWS account, um, you need to install Java and so on. But if you have already installed Java and if you're already using Eclipse, then all you need to do is copy this link down here and head over to your... I have opened my Eclipse IDE and um, if you have never installed an Eclipse plugin before, in your menu bar there should be um, a menu action that says install new software. So for me, for macOS, it's under help, but depending on your operating system, it could be somewhere else. So find the install new software uh, menu item and then enter the URL aws amazon.com slash eclipse. And here you find that um, actually the AWS toolkit for Eclipse consists of a bunch of uh, plugins for different AWS services. What you need in any case is the core plugin, so select that. And you also, we also want to use the AWS deployment tool for Lambda, also select that one. The other uh, plugins are not really needed in this tutorial. You can take a closer look at uh, what they do if we are finished with this video. Click on Next. This will calculate the dependencies. Uh, it should be fine to install. Um, by the way, I'm using the um, Eclipse for Java EE Neon 2 version of Eclipse, but it should work uh, similarly on all major new versions of Eclipse. So click on Next, and then accept the license agreement and finish. The software has been installed and we just need to uh, restart Eclipse. Click Yes. Our Eclipse IDE has restarted and now you should see a little orange box up here, which um, gives you more information on how to use the AWS Toolkit for Eclipse if you click on it. So here are a couple of links um, where, that guide you to further documentation and videos and code samples. For now, let's click on the little drop-down arrow and create a new AWS Lambda Java project. This opens a wizard. Um, we need to give it a project name. Let's choose Demo. We have a group ID, artifact ID, which is used for Maven. And then down here you can see that um, the wizard helps us to generate some boilerplate code, which you can see down here. Let's change the default configuration a little bit. So we could choose a different handler type if we want to operate on a stream, but let's uh, leave it with a request handler for now. And then we could choose a different input type. So pre-selected is S3 event. But we will use that later for a first simple example application. Let's use a custom input type. You can see that the code down here that is generated from our configurations up here changes. As input type, we could use a plain old Java um, object, but we could also use something like a string or an integer. So let's use as input and output a string so we can build a simple, really simple Hello World application. Let's click on Finish. When we have created our AWS Lambda uh, Java project, uh, you also get some more information on how to get started. 
But in my um, example IDE configuration here, I have a couple of problems that are pointed out. So in your case, uh, there might not be such errors, but maybe there are, so I will quickly show you how to fix them. In my case, the problem is that my build path is not um, configured correctly. I'm using an old Java version 1.5, so I need to uh, change that. The way I'm going to do that is I click on my project, right click, and then I click on my build path and configure build path. And here you can see that I'm using the JRE with Java version 1.5. So I switch it by clicking on add library. And here I choose a different JRE systems library, namely Java SE8. Click on finish and I remove Java 1.5. I click on OK. This has not solved all my problems yet. I also need to make sure that um, my project properties are set correctly. So let's go back and go to the Java compiler. And here you can see that my compliance level is set to Java 1.0. 5, but I want to use Java 1.8. Click on OK. And yes, please rebuild. And now our errors should be gone. Okay, let's take a quick look at the Lambda function handler. So what has been auto-generated for us is a class, a Java class with a name Lambda function handler that implements the request handler interface using as an input a string and as an output also a string. And we can also access the context object. So right now our Lambda function handler is pretty simple. We have this handle request function which takes two parameters, an input of type string and a context object. And what it does is it just logs out the input. Now here it says to do implement your handler. Um, right now it just returns null. Let's see what happens if we return an integer. And that won't compile because the um, handler function is supposed to return a string. This is the second parameter here. And so we can't return an integer. We must return something like this. All right, and now it compiles.